What is up everyone, this is MoGamer here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Roblox error code 260. This is a weird connection error code that basically says there was a problem receiving data, please reconnect. So I'm going to show you what to do to fix this error code. So the first thing you can do is just straight up log out of your Roblox account and then log back in. A lot of times doing that just fixes it because <laughs> it's a connection issue error that's possibly happening. If, if you're trying it on the web page like I am, download the app instead and try from there and see if that works instead. Right, it's possible that the app works but the web page is not working or vice versa the app's not working but the web page ends up working so kind of go down that route if that doesn't work the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our search bar over here and we're going to write network connections until this pops up once you're in here you want to right click into whichever you're connected to i'm connected via ethernet but if you're connected via wi-fi that's fine right click into properties and then go to internet protocol version for TCP slash IPv4. But before we do this, I actually want you to now go to your router first. And I want you to actually unplug your router for 30 seconds and plug it back in. You'd be surprised a lot of times a lot of issues get fixed via your router. If that doesn't work, you can also reset your router, which usually updates your router, but it does bring it back to factory default settings, meaning it will like remove any passwords. If it's an old one, it may have had on it, or if you've made a custom password and then it may go back to its original password, which whatever it was. Uh, Cause a lot of times you could update it via its admin settings online. It's tricky. I can't say how to do it because every router is different. So that's the tricky part. Like some routers have an app, like Netgear has usually has an app and you can just update it from their app, but every other router is different. So it's hard to say but doing those things that i mentioned should do that but once you've done that come back here you want to click into that go to properties and you want to change the automatically for dns server to use the following dns server addresses your preferred is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and alternate is 8.8.4.4 .4. you want to basically press ok and then you should be good to go and you should not have this error process any longer so yeah that's basically it if you guys are the video please smash that like button up. If you guys are in the channel make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and then we're gonna be out peace